Well, Biden was making his pitch to the American people, showing him he's, he is, he's still on the game, he's still on the ball, which he, he did a great job of. And the Republicans were trying to win women back and just ended up pissing them off even more because her response was universally panned and women were pissed. Um, but it boosted Biden's, it's boosting Biden's poll numbers and mm -hmm. it's hurting theirs. So it didn't, didn't go well for them. But while that was all going on, Donald J. Trump met at Mar-a-Lago with Viktor Orban, who's the autocratic ruler of Hungary. And he just got reelected, but the way he gets reelected is they've rigged the whole system so he wasn't going to lose no matter what happened. <laughs> they've got it so gerrymandered there and rigged, there's no way he could lose. Even though he's lost like 8% of the popular vote, he still won. Sound familiar? It's happening in this country. So Trump was learning how to cheat at elections while Biden was trying to, to run. But we're going to watch a clip about it because Joe Scarborough is going to talk about it. And I just think it's I just think it's crazy that that was the comparison. Biden's up there talking about we're going to reinstate abortion. We want to get uh, Social Security secure. And Trump's out there going, OK, so how do I cheat at elections, Victor? <laughs> You've done it, what, four or five times now? <laughs> so we'll clip over to this real quick. So, so speaking, speaking of contrast, contrast, you had Joe, Joe Biden, Biden after, after his, his incredible, incredible State of the Union address talking, talking about, about his accomplishments, accomplishments and, and all, all the positive, positive things he was, was able to get, get done in the wake of the Trump, Trump presidency, presidency, coming into the White House literally barricaded after January 6th, and, and being able to move forward, persevere, and, and pass countless, countless legislation, even bipartisan legislation, legislation that has improved the economy. economy. This is, is a fact. Uh, again, yeah. about the American people. Exactly. exactly. So, so you have, have all, all those messages, messages resonating, resonating after, after the speech as he goes out on the campaign, campaign trail. And, and then, then meanwhile, meanwhile, Donald Trump, Trump he's at Mar-a-Lago Mar posting Hungary's autocratic, autocratic prime minister, minister Viktor Orban, on, on Friday, Friday to, to quote, to, to discuss, discuss a wide range, range of issues affecting Hungary and, and the United States. States. Orban, who has close ties to Russian President Vladimir Putin, has refused to provide any aid to Ukraine while seeking to turn his own country into an illiberal state. Trump has repeatedly bragged. <laughs> and that's not even, that's putting it mildly too. You know, it is bad. They've, they've really tanked it there. Go ahead. Oh, you gotta unmute. Sorry. So, so those two, two gentlemen, gentlemen they, they just invite Putin, Putin over. over. They, they can just, just have themselves a nice little tea, tea party. party. Absolutely. Tell each other how great they are. And um, tell, tell each, each other how great they are. are and discuss how, how to, you know, know screw over entire countries, countries with the people. people. Right. So here, I got a, an article here from Project Syndicate. I'm just going to read real quick. So they write here, to be sure, classic electoral fraud through falsifying the vote count was probably limited, owing to organized civil society efforts to ensure the opposition delegates were presented in every polling station. Um, if there was massive fraud, it would have been in the mail votes and abroad, many of which were collected by organizations connected to Orban's party. Um, the discovery of burned opposition ballot papers in Transylvania helps to explain why over 90% of mail-in votes have favored uh, Orban's party in the last two elections, 90%. You know it's fucking rigged when you get, nobody gets 90%. And this was not the first manipulated election in Hungary. It's been going on since 2010, so for 14 years. So they were a democracy mm -hmm. that, that turned into an auto autocracy, which is kind of what the Republicans want, and that's what Trump wants. And that's why he's meeting with Orban to, I bet you that's 90% of what they talked about. How do we rig the elections? Because right. just to point it out, if, if you guys don't realize this, the last time the Republic, I mean, just let's look just the last, let's go from 92 to today, just to make it easy. So in the last 32 years, the Republicans have won the popular vote in a presidential election once. Right, just this century, right? 2000 to, to now, to 2024, we've had 
two Republican presidents, 12 years of Republican presidents, and now 12 years of Democratic presidents, right? We had Bush and then Trump on the Republican side, and then we had Obama and now Biden. Bush lost the popular vote the first time he ran. He only won it when he got re-election, right? And he didn't win it by a lot. But he lost the popular vote the first time he ran. He actually lost the Electoral College too, but there was the whole debate thing in Florida with the hanging chads and the Brooks Brothers riots and the Supreme Court basically put him in office as the president when Gore actually won. And Gore had already conceded at that point, which was stupid on Gore's part if you ask me, but I guess at the time he thought it was the right thing. Now, Trump lost the popular vote the first time he ran, lost it by even more the second time. <laughs> So half of the last 24 years, half of this so far this century has been Republican presidents who didn't win. They won the Electoral College. They didn't win the popular mm -hmm. vote. They won by a minority. And that's how Hungary does it. The minority actually gets to elect who's in power. So that's scary to me that he's meeting with that guy and that's what they're talking about. <clears throat> so, yeah, 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 yeah. Great, great. yeah. absolutely terrible. terrible.